Hey, what's up? This is George. Today is December the 8th, 2020, and I want to talk about December the 8th, 2004. That was the day in which Don Back Darrell, guitar player for Damage Plan and Pantera, was shot and killed on stage by Nathan Gale that night. So, Damage Plan is on their last show of the tour. They take the stage. First song, from my understanding, Nathan Gale enters the stage, or comes onto the stage, starts opening fire, and four people get killed, including Dimebag. It's a tragedy, man. It's sad. And it still affects... A ton of people even today. I named my third child after Dimebag. And Dimebag Daryl is probably one of my top five um, guitar players. I first got introduced to Dimebag hearing and listening to Pantera. Well, Walk was the first song, and from there, it was just kind of, you know, what uh, turned me on to him, and, you know, from there, it's just like, I just became this big fan, and I enjoyed everything that this guy has ever put out with Pantera and Damage Plan, and... Rebel meets Rebel. I don't believe Pantera would be the same if Don Bag was replaced by anybody else. I believe Pantera was made up of Phil, Rex, Vinnie Paul, and Don Bag. That was Pantera. You can put anybody behind that drum throne and anybody behind, you know, holding a guitar playing the songs. But it's not going to be Pantera. I don't care what anybody says. Um, if Vinnie Paul and Don Bag were still alive today, do I think they would get back together and make another record? There's a big possibility it would have happened. And I know many people would have loved to see that happen. But It's just a tragedy that this took place the way it did. But we are left with some great music and a ton of memories with this band and Don Back Darrell. And just for a funny ha ha. Me and my, I actually, I can't see me, me and my band, but I was on the way to fill in for a good, um, to do a, a spot. We were going to, I think it was South Haven, Mississippi. Um, and I was literally, I was speeding, and I think I was going about 87 in a 70. And I remember finally a good song came on the radio, and it was Walk. Imagine that, right? Well, I topped this hill, and there's a state trooper. Yeah, boy. Imagine that. Yep, so I got pulled over, got a fat, nice ticket, and went and played guitar. So anyways, today... I guess, you know, we can, you know, just be thankful that we still have the music and the memories of Pantera and Damage Plan and the stuff that Don Bag has done. And just overall, Sometimes you just get lost for words, man. You just you just really do. And you can't forget about John Lennon 
on this day as well because John Lennon got shot and killed, you know, as well by a crazy fan that was just wanting an autograph. So, anyways, if you got any favorite moments, um, favorite anything about Pantera, Damage Plan, did you even get a chance to see them live? I never got that opportunity. Um, like I said, I was fresh out of high school going my sophomore year into college. And I never really got a, I never got a chance to to see them live. Sure, you can buy the live DVDs and you can buy the live albums and you can buy the studio albums. It's not the same. So um if you got any favorite moments and um, just you know any favorite memories man drop them in the comment section below I'd love to hear them because like I said uh, it was just a tragedy man and um, on this day to day all we can do honestly is just be thankful and turn up some good damn rock and roll <laughs>